do you want to lead us in again? What do I say now? Uh, welcome back from match one. Welcome back from match one. This is... Old Lady Pool. And Old Man Pool. We're pulling Mulligan down to six. I'm not sure how long Old Lady Pool will stick around, but as long as she's here, you'll get her sultry voice. I think we have a keep here. We do definitely need to draw some low cards. We have a Manolith. We can ramp into one of these guys on turn four. If we draw any like two drop, I feel like we're a pretty good shot. So let's go ahead keep here. No, my opponent's a little bit slow off his mold of six. I feel like we have a pretty good chance against slow opposing decks. We actually have a fair amount of inevitability. Obviously, if they do a like beat down, we're maybe not the best, but I think we got a chance. I think we got a chance here. Assuming they don't play like 2-drop, 3-drop, 4-drop. Like, we're, we're doing alright. Yeah, see? No 2-drop. Yeah, it's a few more lands than I would like to see, but... Feel free to chime in anytime here with, you know, color analysis on... Few? Too many lands? Yeah. Too many lands. This is, yeah, more than I would like. Oh, more than you would like. Not too few. I have a few too many. Okay. Red Green's usually kind of aggressive. Doty of Strength definitely falls into that camp. He might get ambuscated though. Next sure we're gonna play Manolith and then we're gonna pop out like a Colossipede. Like, nice. Good. Yeah. Everybody likes Colossipede. Oh, I like Ooh. It's a little bit tempting actually. We play that and it keeps us from dying immediately. Unless he's ambuscated. It's definitely <laughs> I mean, death, death is incoming. Especially for the Grizzly Survivor. Look at all those bodies. He works hard. He does. To feed his family. <laughs> the dead bodies of his enemies. Yes. Like killing two birds with one stone. Or 15 people with one axe. We <laughs> <Yes. laughs> have to get a little bit closer. I don't know if the microphone's oh. gonna pick you up very well. Sorry. It's alright. It's okay. One tells me I'm too quiet, too. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So we just got destroyed <gasps> there. He took us to the rodeo. Yeah, we got rodeoed pretty hard. He's going to regret that. Yeah, he's for sure. Because he's getting a rodeo too. Two can rodeo. Oh, oh, look who's right on time. Look who's right on time, Sarah. Mm-hmm. Do you hear what I was saying? Because he is right on time. Deal with that. Why okay, so my opponent didn't miss a land drop. But he's had a pretty like decent start in that he's played two good cards. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we had one of those. We are talking about, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, this card's absurdly good. Oh. So it was a good pick. Yeah. We passed one at some point yes. for like a frilled sound water or something, and I was sad, but. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I ordinarily, that. ordinarily, it's pretty great. I think we're going to trade here. Kind of want to just get this guy off the table before he gets any massive advantage. I think we want to save the ambuscade for something more threatening. <laughs> Another devotee's annoying. Another one. Another one, yeah. Yeah, it's alright though. Who thinks he's so cool? So, do we want to do. Which do we want, do you think? Want the archers here or we want Colossipede? Um. Colossipede. I, I can see an argument for both. Yeah. yeah we're just gonna go for it here. Yeah. Vigilance is for wusses. Yes. Alright, so we, got, we actually had a pretty nice curve out there. 3, 4, 5. Not bad. <gasps> The opponent had to cycle him away. That's true, we didn't see any hippos. I'm sorry. I forgot about hippos. Yeah. Didn't work out real, well, did it? Yeah, that's kind of nice. So we can just play our river serpent straight up off that. Um, you think that's best, or you want to do like Manolith and Ambuscade? Probably save the Ambuscade, right? Mm. This guy's not that scary. Yeah, he's going to drop some. This guy? Yeah. Yeah, but let's. We'll I'm saying we shouldn't kill him. Yeah, right uh-huh. Oh, okay. I think we should save it. Oh, he's gonna drop something yeah. nuts. Mm -hmm. I thought you said this guy was like gonna drop the beat or something. Like, look at those fists. <laughs> looks like he's going somewhere with a purpose. I, I never really looked at him this way, but he kind of looks like he's like dancing off stage. Yeah. He's like, Good. he's got like a top hat and like a cane. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so this feels good. My opponent is just royally screwed on mana, but we've drawn a lot of mana to be fair. That always helps, doesn't it? It does always <laughs> help. The dream is where your opponent cannot actually play. We're just gonna keep crashing here. He's got a trick or something. We can always use Ambuscade to get through. Basically, what I hoped for. 
Yeah, I mean, there's no one there. Oh, we can play the Manolith now, right? Because we got seven. Yeah, we can. I mean, you basically set up this whole deck, so this is this is going pretty good. I get that sandworm. Yeah, I, we may even do it without it this time. Claw speed and the you call them dingo boat ropes. <laughs> 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 and the dingo bros win. <laughs> no, what'd you call them? Anubis twins. Oh. <laughs> dingo bros. They're both pretty good names. I like that one, but <laughs> it's better. Alright, alright. So, Plum played only green cards. I don't know what I'm kidding. I don't think there's anything we're sideboarding. <laughs> ancient um, crab. Ancient crab. No, it's double blue. We, we just oh, can't. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's pretty hard. But we got Manly. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna run it back. <laughs> Dingo twins. The Dingo twins. That was... <laughs> no, Dingo bros. Dingo bros. Yep. And the, and the what bro? Oh, I Anubis don't know. Anubis twins. Anubis twins and the Dingo bros. <laughs> dropping a new album this any day. Good. Let's say, we, we have Razzicus right, so this goes, this searches our library for something so we can find Sandworm Convergence. Oh, yeah. You see that built in synergy you got there? I absolutely meant that. To yeah, it's pretty good. I think we might just cycle Brought Beast turn one, unless we draw the land, just to make sure we can get out there. Eh. Alright, we'll, we'll consider now. It's a little bit nice to have it up for the Grizzly Survivor. And we do want to play Scrounge of Souls. We'll probably just keep. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Let's see what my opponent does. If he looks like he's going to be on the beatdown, we'll probably cycle it. If he's a little bit slower, we might wait a turn. Looks like he's going to be slow here with another. Uh, probably not gonna have a drop on turn two, which is nice. Don't think we cycle quite. Oh, okay. Guy's pretty good. Makes me a little bit sad we didn't cycle, but that's alright. We can tap him to add blue in the future too. If we can get rid of the river serpent or play it. He's so cute. Look how big he is. He is huge. Like, Looks just so excited to be there. So I don't know exactly how the flavor works in the world, but in theory, like humans are like one ones. This is like oh. this is a big guy. Hey. And I'd say it blocks that guy pretty well, but it doesn't. That's a lie. Oh no. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, hey, that was a good draw. Find our lands on time. So I think I'm just gonna drop the grizzly survivor here. And then we'll block his naga and take a little bit of damage. But that's all right. I wonder if he swings if we're greedy and we double block. Probably. He's after a pretty good combat trick to get through these guys, right? Well, no. Just plus three, plus three would do it. Yeah, it's a little awkward. Oh, no swing at all. Oh, man. The devotee, though. He's back again. Yeah, devotee's a good one for my opponent. Although, Ruin Rat actually helps a little. Nobody likes it. So I'm kind of tempted to play the Ruin Rat and then cycle a couple of things. Make sure we can hit five. We can play like our Scrounger. Don't think we want to keep this guy necessarily. But we'll, we'll throw him a bone for the Grizzly Survivor. Right, right. Yeah. Got beat up. Right. This is nice. This will trade away with something here. It's not great against the Sidewinder Naga, but we're okay. It's okay. Um, when we cycle something, we'll trade up at least, and that'll work out. He's got to use all of his mana to really try and blow us out, so... Like, it's not like it's a free attack or anything. Both. Um... So I think we're going to block Rune Rat on the Devotee and the Grizzled Survivor here, and then we'll pump the Grizzled Survivor. But this is nice because this interacts a little bit better with the Trample. And he's got like, I think he's just got the trick is what he's planning on. I think this works out pretty well for us. He's got like the coordinated tactics or whatever, plus two, plus two. It's not that crazy. Just pump in there. So we're going to go ahead and cycle this guy. That's sweet synergy. Ooh, Manolith, that's a good one. So, I think I'm going to cycle the River Serpent too, although we can wait till the end. We'll take a little bit of damage here, but we, we trade. 
up a little bit, kind of laterally. Uh, let's just get rid of his head. Oh, actually, maybe we should have gotten rid of the Evolving Wild. It's more likely that he has the, uh, that one thing, whatever it's called. The giant beetle that brings back a land. <laughs> yeah, that, that, was a, that was a good introduction. I think I'm going to crack this. I don't think he's likely to be able to swing in the near future. We'd want to find lands, because we're going to go and get the Sand Orb Converter. Sounds good. <laughs> the Splash River Serpent. <laughs> the dream. Okay, Ambi Skate's pretty good. Land would be great. Alright, so we missed there. So, what's the play then? Do we cycle the Rot Beast and try and find the land? What do you think? Probably, right? We're just gonna win off this. That's the plan. Sure. Huh? Aggressively cycle here and we'll play the Manolith. Okay, that's pretty good too. Hi, buddy. We need to find lands. Do we care about swinging? Is there anything hasty you could have? I don't think there's any haste, so I think I'm gonna get in there. But <laughs> get him, buddy. We actually don't need that much. The worms are gonna finish the job, so. Yeah, this is looking okay. I, I like the uh, Rot Beast Grizzly Survivor combo. Wombo. It's good. Nice. Under Souls. We can we, we can play one of those one on of our those. own. Yeah. So I think we're probably just going to play that. really would like to find some lands, but we'll wait for now. Bide our time. We have the end game. We just have to, to play towards it. So if he swings here, I might wait a turn so we can use Ambuscade. Help defend it. Uh, maybe he's not going to swing here. He's just going to get with the bat, though. Atra. Okay. Whoa. Fancy. This. I. It took me a ridiculously long time to realize that this was Cleopatra. That's what we're going for. Yeah. Yeah. See, so you, you don't even play the set and you realize that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. So close. To... Yeah, we're really close to Sifter Worm. Mm. I think we just play the... Razakets right and go and grab something now. That feels good, right? Sure. We can't leave up Ambuscade, which is a little bit rough, but I'm not sure my opponent's got anything or he might have gone for that turn. Let's get this. Let's play this while we can. Uh, Alright. It's kind of I swear they can never be consistent on this. We just want the sand world conversions. Yes. Pretty pretty cut and dry. Almost done. Okay. We'll probably cycle the Rot Beast to try and find a land this at the end of our turn. But I think we're doing okay. It's not looking like my opponent's going to be able to just run us over here. I think we're going to pick up a match. Oh. Uh, that'd be... Money. That's right. <laughs> Gotta get that through. <laughs> okay, so that's that's pretty good. Not going to beat Sandor Convergence, though. But that's pretty good. Get in for three every turn. Hello. Yeah, they actually have a couple, because we can't block this guy real well now. Oh, the bat has it too. Yeah, he just gave it with the cartouche. No, you can just get rid of him with the rodeo, right? I could, but actually, when this comes out, creatures with flying can't attack us. So oh, it's almost yeah. like it just kills him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we could kill the basher. Yeah. Just because, yeah. That can give us that opportunity. Oh my goodness. So I think we're just going to go ahead and block. Mm. And if he's got something, that'd be a deal. Even Beetle will do his duty to God and Country. He's and we'll hope that the life good. just doesn't matter that much in this matchup. Goodness. Okay, let's go ahead and cycle. Land, really? land, land. Almost. Not even. <laughs> that, that's part of the joke, sir. Oh. oh, wait. Oh, old lady pool. I, I gave you uh, that. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm banging walls. We have done it. This is, no. it's been a struggle here. Okay, so we can do Sifter Worm though, and we can set up a land probably. It'll be good. This is fabulous. Yeah. Um, Dream. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just. There's not, no way we don't play this round. Hope he doesn't have. Yo. Well, you, well, I guess he has the rotor. You can make the snake fight it. But you have to make something fight it. doesn't just make you go away. <laughs> no, but this got Death Touch, so it's good enough. He just throws it at him. The oh, rodeo is the no. sifter worm. It's like a little worm on a big worm. No, I don't want to. 
doesn't look kind of cute, the world of Um, Classipede, I wonder if we just want to slam the land. So this guy gains us life, based mm -hmm. on the top part of our library. So we could just take the land, though. Yes. And we don't get any life, but then we get to play Sandworm Convergence right on I time. I think land the way to go. The land's the way to go? I think I agree. He said life's not going to matter. Don't think so. I was kind of talking about our opponent, yeah. the life link. Uh -huh. Our life does matter a little bit, but he has to kill us, like, next turn. I think that'll be pretty tough, especially through the Sifter Worm. Yeah, I think, I think we're just going to make sure we hit our land, right? It's going to be awfully suspicious for my opponent. Um, do we want to draw these other guys? Probably, right? They're both pretty reasonable defensive cards. Yeah. Yeah, we'll play Colossipede and Ambuscade in a turn. So, okay, let's put that on top. That on top. Reveal a land. And we say, oh, man, we must have screwed that up. I oh, well. I clicked the wrong thing. That happens an awful lot. I just type like, man, I'm so bad in the chat and get my opponent good, but. Own cycling a rot beast of his own. I think we've cycled four rot beasts over the course yeah, of this game. He's such a copycat. <laughs> <laughs> he knows it's a good strat. All right, I like that. I like that. Why will you? Just getting in for a couple points of damage is not so bad here. Uh oh. This is probably big. Oh, just tempo. <laughs> oh, was... Alright. Okay, so we're gonna do it here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Easy game, easy life. Can't cancel it, it's tapped out. That's right, he also doesn't have blue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, he doesn't have like main deck enchantment hate. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe we opened saying that conversions. Uh, it's been a good time. It's been a good time. Is that your favorite card in the set? I do or like that. Maybe the Hydra. You remember the no, Hydra? No, I don't even remember the Hydra. Okay. <gasps> Worm number one. Welcome to the world. The Hydra was the one that embalms. He like turns into a mummy Hydra. Does <laughs> do, that sound familiar? I do remember mummy Hydra. Right. So what could you even have here? Plus three, plus three. I guess we just double block. Um, if he has plus three, plus three, or I guess if he has ambuscade, no, because he can't even kill us if we're with anything. We could just like triple block. Maybe we'll just block everything. I don't think there's anything that really blows us out here. He gets to choose his favorite to kill, but. If he wants to kill these two guys, I'm not even that sad about it, I don't think. Or he actually can't even kill both. I can't believe that Beetle's still alive. Yeah, he's, he's done a little bit of work. He blocked him once. Team Blair. He also tapped for lands a couple of times yeah. on the cycle. Mm -hmm. It looks like he's just going to kill our Sifter Worm. <gasps> it's okay. He brought about the great the great worms. Yes, he did. This is all they did. Okay, yeah. Spider Grass is pretty good there, but not good enough. Thanks to our quadruple block. That's so funny. <laughs> Everybody's like, get out! <laughs> My opponent's got a lot of life. It's gonna be hard for him to win here, though. He does have a lot of life. Yeah. We have endless worms. We do have endless worms. So, do we want to just get in with our one worm here? Probably. Maybe use Ambuscade aggressively. We'll play Colossipede and Sandworm. That feels pretty good. Start my phone a little bit. Where is the Bob Ross you speak of? Bob Ross, I speak of. Oh, <laughs> so you missed it earlier. We were doing an excellent Bob Ross session. This is a uh, my old lady pool. She went ahead and drafted the deck for me, um, which means it has some interesting traits, but it's also pretty exciting. But she also was Bob Rossing earlier. This was the Bob Ross. Is it not glorious? Look at it's those pretty happy trees. It's pretty good. All right. Um, let's get through here. I'd eat the snake at some point. Colossipede. And have Ambi skate up. I like our position. Feels pretty good. 
Nice. But we are like green black splashing. Oh, we got there. Hey! hey. It took a game. It took a game. <laughs> <laughs> he says, pleased to meet you, old lady. Oh, fool. that's nice. She is Three, my rock. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm thinking here. Uh, okay, well, that was match one. Sandrum Convergence. Rez gets right. Sandrum Convergence. And our opponent got Mad Screen game one. The dream. See you guys for match two.